हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम मैट सुधीर आई कोच अ चैनल फॉर बर्डिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस टुडे आई बी शेयरिंग ए वीडियो वेयर आई परफॉर्म फीको मल्सिफिकेशन इन सब लग्जेटिव लेंस पेशेंट प्रेजेंटेड विद द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रॉमा एंड द कैटरैक्ट ऑलवेज एस एस सच पेशेंट्स मेडिकलिसली इन प्री ऑपरेटिवली रिगार्डिंग ग्लॉकोमा एंड इफ पॉसिबल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू रूल आउट एनी एग्जिस्टिंग रेटनल पैथोलॉजी and if you are not prepared that day then postpone the case and then reschedule your case so that you can prepare every modalities in advance uh, before uh, starting this procedure here i kept uh, endocapsular ring and sionis ring in advance and uh, um, variety of ivels like iris claw ival then uh, uh, ival for uh, scleral fixation that is the multi uh, piece i will in advance and always uh, assess the pressure of the globe it is very important and uh, plan your surgery under proper local anesthesia local anesthesia will give you more confidence and the patient will remain comfortable during the procedure for access is the time where you can assess the stability of the uh, whole back complex during capsular access i assess that uh, the whole bag is stable in the other areas except the area where the uh, subluxation was existing and it was in the quarter area approximately very gently i performed hydro procedures hydro delineation and hydro dissection then filled the chamber tightly with this elastics and then now i'm ready to implant the endocapsular ring always assess the right uh, size of the caps uh, endocapsular ring it has uh, two sets of rings which are present at the tips and they are for the manipulation and uh, before uh, inserting in the bag always assess that your uh, uh, leading uh, tip is it must be inside the capsule it may take couple of moments but uh, it is always uh, necessary that you your ring should be in a proper place otherwise uh, it can stretch the remaining area of the zonules and you may land up in a uh, more of the subluxation of the the whole of the uh, lens complex you uh, you can use the bimanual technique where you can hook the hole and uh, with the second instrument you can release it and place it in the bag before starting phaco emulsification always i said that uh, your endocapsular ring must be in a proper place this is very important so i double checked and i was pretty happy that my rings ring is uh, inside the capsular bag and uh, you know sometime it if it gets open in the sulcus area then it's very difficult to bring it back in the capsular area so uh, before uh, starting phaco emulsification i thought to give more strength to the capsules by placing uh, capsular hooks in the areas where the capsules are hanging because i want i wanted to be 100% sure uh, that uh, uh, during phaco i should not create st stretch on the capsule and whatsoever is possible we i can do for to stabilize the capsular bag so i decided to go with the two capsular hooks and i created two side port incisions at the limbal area then i placed the capsular hooks in the inside the anterior chamber and capsular hooks are uh, slightly bigger than the iris hooks and they have uh, a uh, blunt tips at the uh, edges so that uh, they won't create any tear in the anterior capsule good visualization is very important and uh, because you want to see your uh, structures well so that uh, you can place it in a proper place so fill the chamber uh, place the viscoelastics or uh, fluids on the anterior capsule uh, on the cornea so that you will get proper uh, visualization under microscope i secured 
one iris uh, capsular hook which has supported the part of the anti capsule then i placed another capsular hook adjacent to the previous one these things uh, you can decide uh, on table uh, but your uh, uh, subconscious brain must be trained before you are before uh, you are starting you should plan everything before uh, starting surgery whatever things you may require you must have on the table or in your access you cannot uh, read uh, all those things in any kind of uh, books and uh, with experience with time and uh, if you observe other surgeons to operate the procedures accordingly you can vary your prosthetic techniques and you can uh, select your devices and uh, always uh, before entering in the antechamber always uh, uh, make your uh, peco settings suboptimal if you are using gravity fed fed system then reduce the bottle height and if you are using active fluid assist then reduce the intra uh, operative procedure i kept uh, intra ocular pressure below 40 so that i couldn't uh, further give more stress on the capsular areas i saw that uh, Uh, chemosis has started occurring at the area of uh, main corneal incision and if chemosis increases your surgery will become difficult because uh, the visualization would be a great problem when the chemosis or the boginess uh, is very high making a small punching towel nick in the area adjacent to the entry can reduce the chances uh, of further development of chemosis nucleus density was uh, moderate it was a grade 2 or grade 3 so gradually with with low pressure with gentle rotations i started my peco fragmentation this is the time where your patience is very important control your nerves and always uh, see the area where the subluxation is existing and do not go very close to the area um, of uh, dehiscence the because you may catch the capsule and sometime you you may catch the uh, vitreous fragments they may be present in the area, in that area and if you catch that uh, fragment then again the capsule will become will become more unstable and uh, performing peco emulsification would become much much difficult luckily i performed a peco fragmentation without any further problem now take a break and again fill the chamber with with elastics and again assess the area of uh, uh, subluxation you can readjust your capsular uh, support or you can remove it here i thought to uh, remove the capsular support because i thought the capsule is quite stable and i can do uh, cortical clean up without any problem i decided to go for uh, eye well implantation because i thought that uh, my intraocular lens will also support the capsule and it will stretch the area of uh, subluxation so i decided to go with the regular single piece hydrophobic implant in the bag and i placed the i will in such way that uh, the area of optic haptic jam junction uh, remain in the area of uh, subluxation because this is the diameter which is the larger and it will secure your capsular support 
when i started my cortical cleanup uh, i caught a tag of vitreous which i was expecting but the endocapsular ring which is uh, still there in the bag has stretched the capsule well so i decided to go for anterior vitrectomy so that i can remove any amount of uh, vitreous which is there in the anterior capsule anterior chamber uh, these steps are uh, unavoidable any time you may get surprises that is why you have to uh, be prepared for everything you have to have a uh, vitreoretinal support in your uh, theater in case of any uh, change in steps or any complications you can manage your surgery well without uh, creating much much problems I used a meiotic to construct the pupil and I performed anterior vitrectomy so that there should not be any vitreous tag existing in the anterior chamber and in the bone area. This patient did excellent in the post-op and patient was 612 day 1 of the surgery. Thanks for watching.